Once you are logged into Fast Pencil, uh, you can quickly create projects by clicking the Start a New Project button. I'm going to take you through a few steps on how to quickly start a um, project and rough out the uh, chapters using uh, the online Fast Pencil editor. So the first thing I'm going to do is click Start a New Project, and I'm going to choose Create a Book or Ebook. I'm going to call this uh, My uh, Ebook Memoir, and I'm going to leave it as private for now. Your settings can change later if you want to invite other people into the project to look at it or read or comment or things like that. But right now, I'm just going to leave it as private. That means that I'm the only one who can read and edit this project. So the project summary page is created. You can see the title that I entered here and my name and a summary if I wanted to put a little summary of uh, what the book was in case I was working with some collaborators or something and I wanted people to kind of know what was going on. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is click right. So when I click right, it opens up our chapter menu. The chapter menu is not only a uh, navigation bar where you can quickly jump between chapters, but it's also an outlining tool. And we're going to use this to quickly create our chapters. Since I'm doing a memoir, I'm going to probably need an introduction. Um, I might have something about uh, the uh, early years. Um, and then I might have some high school and how about college um, work and career and let's see if I have something in here about family how about marriage and family and I'll put in something about uh, wisdom and reflections and then you will notice here that we have basically a, the structure of the book really quickly outlined one other thing that I can do is I can um, enter in uh, subsections right here and I can drag them into place so maybe I need to some have something in here about um, my wife and my children um, and I can just grab the little white arrow here next to my wife and I can bring and drag her inside of marriage and family and along with my children I can put them into that chapter as well and by doing that not only have I created the top level uh, table of contents structure but I've created subsections and because our platform is smart it actually knows that these are subsections and they'll be nested and designed appropriately in the templates once you go to uh, publish the book. Now that the chapters are created I can click on any chapter at any time and open the editor. So let's start on my high school chapter <clears throat> and you'll see the editor comes up and it's an elegant online editor. There's no software to download. There's no flash or anything. This is completely written in JavaScript and Ajax and it is an online editor that you can access from any browser um, on any computer. I'm just going to enter some information right in here. Um, let's start with a quote. Never, 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 never give up. Okay, and then let's uh, do some writing. I went to high. Let's see. I went to Royal High in Simi Valley. Okay, so you can see here that I've entered text directly into the editor. It's a nice, clean editor. It's very elegant. Um, you can click on text and do things like bold, italics. You can center it, um, and uh, you can also um, see what you've changed the revisions between each one so let's say I went to uh, Royal in, in High in Simi Valley um, well, let's see when I was 14 I moved to uh, Spokane Washington and uh, went to Central Valley High School okay and I'll save that so one thing I can do is I can hit the revisions button here and I can go back and see the difference between my current chapter and or my current revision and the prior one. This is useful for myself just so that I can see what I added and what I deleted, but it's also useful if you're working collaboratively with others, you can see what was changed um, and, and by who uh, 
you know who made the change here which which author it was um, if I actually wanted to revert to the previous version I could actually click the revert button here and it would go back to the version um, where I went to Royal High and see me and I didn't have the extra stuff so I can just click the revert button and it'll change my chapter back to the um, to the pre prior version here okay um, and say you made a mistake and you didn't actually want to do that you could actually go back to your revisions and you can see here that the new version the version the reverted version is actually another version that was created here uh, where it shows this whole sentence was deleted okay and so um, reversion revision control is uh, very powerful on fast pencil and is built right into the editor um, the other thing that is uh, unique about fast pencil is that you can um, bring in content from other sources so you, you you can write directly into the tool at any time from anywhere we also have an iPhone and iPad app so you can um, do your writing from your uh, mobile devices but you can also import content so I'm going to import a file I'm going to uh, browse and grab uh, let's say um, a brief history and it's a Microsoft Word document and uh, brief history and what our system will do is it will um, open up the uh, Word document it'll uh, scrape the content and it'll remove as much of the extra Microsoft Word um, coding that is typically added uh, and you, you'll see it a lot when you try and bring Microsoft Word documents and turn them into EPUBs or whatever but you'll see here the brief history has been imported um, and let's take that and put it here inside of the introduction we'll just make it a subsection of the introduction and I'll click on that here and you can see that our system will go through and actually remove all of the um, extra coding that is usually added by Microsoft Word so I'm going to take this out and uh, pull this up to the top I'll save it and now I have a uh, brief history subsection uh, inside of my introduction okay then the other way that you can import te text into um, uh, fast pencil is through blog posts um, I'm not going to do it in this uh, demo I'll do it in the next demo but you can essentially uh, enter your blog URL or an XML file and you can import uh, the data directly into Fast Pencil. So that is a quick overview of how to create a project and how to structure your table of contents, how to rearrange the order by drag and drop, and also how to import Microsoft Word documents into the tool. Uh, the next um, uh, demo, I'll talk a little bit about the blog import, and then we'll go into um, inviting collaborators and working with others on Fast Pencil.